almost every student at the top will do this paper in order because it's already set up in the optimal way for you. Timing and strategy, 32 to 34 minutes for each of your essay drafts. 32 to 34 minutes per essay draft. Module C, 30 minutes or less for the full paper. You need to prepare your drafts accordingly. Make them a bit shorter. You complete section one first for paper one and borrow the five minutes or steal five minutes from the essay, your common module essay, put it towards section one. So you're treating your common module essay like module A and B. You can see that you actually get 40 minutes for module A and B. We wanna make sure the module C is a bit shorter in case the module A or B runs over, but you need to be disciplined and you need to prepare by timing all your draft essays and cutting them down. And then with the common module essay, we're gonna pretend that's 40 minutes so we have a bit of a buffer for section one, which really gives you one hour for section one because you get the 10 minutes reading time which should be spent reading the questions, including the marks first, and then looking at the text very deliberately with the marks and question in mind. Hey everyone, it's Johnny from Jettel, and if you wanna check out state rank examples, band six analysis, step-by-step -step guides to constructing the perfect essays, craft of writing pieces, whatever it is that you need for your English exam, then go to jettel.com. We've put everything in one place for you so that you don't need to look any further to get everything you need to succeed in your exams. And if you wanna submit a draft and get expert marking, or you wanna use our marking tools to get specific suggestions on how you can improve your essays, your creative writing pieces, anytime, anywhere, make sure you sign up to Jedi. It's less than $10 per week. Almost every student at the top will do this paper in order because it's already set up in the optimal way for you. I know that's such a simple thing, but people start to question it. They get try and get tricky with it. Maybe you've heard someone who said, I'm gonna do mod C first. It's like horrible idea, horrible idea on average. Not saying it can't work. I'm saying on average, I've just seen it hundreds of times. I've seen it, people try different things hundreds of times. I analyze this stuff very formulaically based on what works for the best students. Maybe you guys have seen on YouTube, I speak to the students who get 100% on, on all of these sections. So you'll know as well and you hear it from them. If you have to shorten your module C because you're running out of time, you can shorten what you prepared with little to no penalty to your marks because they don't know that you cut out a section of what you intended. How on earth would the marker know what you intended to write for your module C? But if you have an unfinished essay, the marker knows. They can see there's no conclusion. They can see a, heart, a trailed off sentence in the middle of a body paragraph. So everything's set up optimally and every minute of paper one and paper two is critical. Every minute. One minute could be the difference between getting a conclusion down and not, which could cost you one or two marks. So uh, everything requires strategic foresight. That's what we're doing this for because I wanna get you in the mindset of the winners, right? The, who are the people who actually go really well in this exam? They're the ones who think about this in advance because this, these are the strategies that all the best students have done. It's not just coming from me, it's coming from me working with and talking to all the best students uh, in the state. Okay, memorization. As I said, memorize as much as you can, as much as you are realistically capable of. Like some students push it too much and then they end up kind of burning out they get so stressed about every single word of their essay. Only some students will push themselves to the point of memorizing every word of the essay. And yes, that correlates to better results. But if you're somewhere in the middle or you're like, I'm not good at remembering stuff. As I said, memorize your introductions because that will make a huge difference. Having a sophisticated base, even though it's gonna be adapted on the day, that's gonna make a huge difference. Memorize your introductions. Your topic sentences will also set a big impression in the marker's mind having a sophisticated topic sentence, and then just memorizing the essential elements of each sentence in order. Technique, quote, and what's a key word that's gonna remind me of what I wanted to say about that quote and technique. That's the bare minimum that I would say to remember, and that way you don't have to remember thousands of words, it's just hundreds because it's, I know my introductions, topic sentences, and I know the technique, quote, memorized in order for each of the body paragraphs, and I can change the wording of that slightly on the day and it could still sound sophisticated if you've practiced doing it a few times.